Series 4 is my personal favourite series of Thomas and Friends. Of the many fantastic stories, a late series highlight for me and many others is the episode that gave Oliver a true end to his character arc. Hello, you're watching Can You See Fish, and today we'll be taking a look at Toad Stands By. Toad Stands By is the 20th episode of the fourth series of Thomas and Friends. It was adapted from the Railway series story by the Reverend Wilbur Audrey and narrated by Michael Angelis in the UK and George Carlin in the US. Here's the story. Oliver returns back to the yards after leaving for repairs following the events of the series 3 episode Oliver Owns Up. The trucks tease Oliver and sing a song which parodies Pop Goes the Weasel. Despite the engine's best efforts, the trucks won't stop and Oliver blames himself. Toad the brake van feels sorry for the Great Western engine and asks Douglas if he can stay in the yard to help Oliver out. Toad, Duck and Oliver then discuss the plan and prepare themselves to carry it out. Toad tells Oliver to line up the worst trucks and leave Scruffy the leader to last so that he's directly behind him. The result of the trucks holding back and Oliver pulling forward is that Scruffy is pulled apart in quite a violent manner. The episode ends with Scruffy being rebuilt, a key difference from the railway story mind and the trucks learning to behave for Oliver out of fear. So what's notable about this episode? Well it marks Toad's first speaking role in the show alongside Scruffy's only appearance to date. As well as this in the UK dub, this episode is the first time the iconic term troublesome trucks is ever used in an episode. I love Toad Stands By. For me this is Oliver's best episode by far. All of Series 4 has great visual effects, but Scruffy being pulled to pieces looks absolutely spectacular and like nothing that had been seen in the show before. Alongside that, this episode perfectly introduces the character of Toad and shows his clever and cheeky side when he makes up the plan. I think that it's a shame that we never really got to see this again after this episode. The music is great here too, I absolutely love Oliver's theme. It's just so triumphant and puts even more impact into the scene where the plan is carried out on Scruffy and the trucks. I think now is as good a time as any to mention that this episode happens to be a collab with my friend Bill Bemboko Productions, so take it away. So what do I think of Toad Stands By? Simple. An amazing way to give Oliver the spotlight, and my number one favourite episode of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. I have no idea why this is my favourite episode, and also I don't know the reason why it made Oliver one of my favourite characters. It's just magical in that way. I mean, how could the song not be one of the many reasons? I mean, take a listen! It's super catchy! Oliver's no use at all, thinks he's very clever Says that he can manage us, that's the best joke ever When he orders us about with the greatest folly We just push him down the well Pop goes all ollie I mean, then again, it's not perfect, it has its flaws, of course I mean, due to this thing being made a season after all the rounds up, and of course Bulgy happening in between these episodes key, creates a huge continuity problem, like, did this happen before or during Bulgy? Who knows? And also, well, Toad's American voice did also kind of make me cringe a bit. Is it just me or did he sound Italian? Anyways, moving on. Well, that's all I have to say. Thank you, Can You See Fish, for featuring me on your channel. And, well, go ahead and finish the review. Goodbye, everyone. Many thanks to Bill Bemboko Productions for appearing to talk about his favourite episode just now. Link to his channel will be in the description below. Now, back to the review. Something I didn't say earlier was that I absolutely love Angelus's Toad voice. I'm so glad that Joe Mills tried to replicate it when the Brave Man returned in CGI. But that's pretty much all I can say for Toad Stands By. Similar to many classic episodes, this one takes a simple story and combines it with great music, visuals and narration. It's definitely not one of my favourite episodes of all time, but when considering everything together, this episode strongly deserves the 9 out of 10 rating that I'm giving it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe to both my and Bill Bemboko's channel. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, goodbye.